Hi guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I had said in one of my process videos that um, I was going to be going to a used book sale with my husband um, this past Saturday. It was a Friends of the Library um, used book sale. So a lot of these, well, all of them probably, most of them, um, were library copies. And after three o'clock on Saturday, because the sale was over at five on Saturday, everything was half off. So everything I got here, um, you know, I got for half off. The prices were already ridiculously cheap. Um, and this isn't even all of it. I have, well, I'll tell you as we go through, <laughs> but I have a few bags and a whole box of, um, of stuff that I'm not even going to pull out to show you because it would take all day, <laughs> but it was so much fun. And I got some really cool things um, that I am very excited about. Some of them I haven't even really looked beyond the covers yet. So we'll, um, we'll just, you know, kind of go through it together. I'm not going to do, this, is, this won't be very long, but I just wanted to share some of my finds and um, let you see them and join in on my excitement. <laughs> so um, some of them are old. Um, as you can see, this one here um, is very old. I believe the copyright is um, 1901. Let's check here. It's, oh, let's see, where was it? There it is. If you can see that, copyright 1901. And it is actually, uh, let's see here. This is the introduction, but it is in German and beautiful typeface. I mean, just, uh, yeah, look at this. It's just beautiful. Um, so I'm pr I'll probably scan these pages and I have no idea what's going on. Like, yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't read the introduction it, that is in English. Um, I probably should do that. But <laughs> um, the, the edges are super cool and there's even vocabulary in the back. And what appears to be, what is this? We've got letters back here on the tabs. That must, oh, it's just more vocabulary? Yeah, okay, so the vocabulary, that's why those are punched out. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, I can't tell. Anyway, I mean, it's just really cool. So I'm, I'll probably scan these pages um, since it is so old. And then, you know, just use the scans because I have a feeling this paper is just going to fall apart um, as soon as I try to take it out of here. But how adorable is that little book? Like, I was just beyond ecstatic. So, okay, that one. I can't take this long on all of them or we'll be here all day. Um, okay, so this one, I just, I loved the little, it was little and I liked the cover. It's actually an encyclopedia volume, maybe? Um, but it's super tiny and I just, it says standard encyclopedia here and it's embossed on the cover. And again, let me see if I can find the copyright. This one would be the 1934 edition of <laughs> this little encyclopedia. So yeah, I mean, just how cute is that? Just full of awesomeness, right? We've got some pictures in there. Lots of writing, obviously, but I just, yeah, had to get that because it's old and cute and it's already coming off um, of the spine. And I see there's some mold in there, so I will be sure to uh, clean that up and get rid of that. But um, yeah, super excited to find that as well. Let's see, what next, what next, what next? Okay, this one is a poetry book. Um, of John Milton poems. Again, I really liked the cover. And the copyright on this one. Oh, look how pretty that is. Let's see if we can find it here. Hopefully this is um, not too close to the camera for you. Looks like this was reprinted. So 1939 is this copy. Uh, but just poetry. I mean, how cool is that? So super excited by that one. And then this one was kind of fun. Um, the home electrical handyman. Again, old 1951. The pages are gorgeous brown color, but you know, it's just 
how to wire a house, I guess. I'll have to let my husband look at it and uh, see how, how not up to code <laughs> all of the instructions are in here. My husband was, um, yeah, my husband was in the Navy, so he, he knows all about this kind of stuff. So he, uh, yeah, he'll be able to look at this and, and be like, oh no, we don't do that anymore. <laughs> I don't need to have any knowledge to know that we probably don't do most of this stuff anymore. But, oh, there's a pay there's a section on sewing machines. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even see that before. Okay, that's, that's even, that is even better. That is cool. All right. Very neat. Toasters. <laughs> like I said, I didn't even, I hadn't even gone through most of these yet. Washing machines. Okay, that's fun. All right. And then this one is um, a book of plays by someone that I myself have not heard of, heard of before, Eugene O'Neill. But again, I just loved the cover. And um, I'm not sure, I don't think it's particularly old, but let's see, looks like this would have been 1967. So it's just, and it, the pages are really neat. They're, um, they're like rough cut on the edges and the paper just feels really good. So I was happy about that. I'm gonna have to start making a stack here on the floor. Give me just a second. My desk is such a mess from <laughs> the journal I'm working on. I literally had this much space to put books to show you. So that's what we're working with. All right. This one is the Audubon Society Field Guide to North American Shells, Seashells, um, which would not have been something I would have sought out, but it is really cool. Um, and let's see, 1981. But the, the paper is neat in this one. It kind of feels like... Um, Bible pages to, you know, as an example, but there are lots of pictures here of seashells. I just thought that was really neat. So these could be, you know, cut apart, made into little um, journaling cards or who knows? I don't know. I'll have to do a beach theme journal here sometime. But yeah, I really liked, I just, I liked the pages and how they felt and the size, you know, the, the height of it. Like, it's just kind of neat. I really like it. And then, oh yeah, that's just the cover. <laughs> all right, and then this one is not old at all, but it looks old. So um, that was that was cool to me. I think it's 2016. There's just an, an almanac of sorts, but the pages inside, you know, the the illustrations and stuff just kind of lend it to looking a little bit old. So I really liked that. Yep, that will be put to use. And then this one is a poetry book by Helen Steiner Rice. I didn't look at the cover. Oh, it's just white. Okay. Um, but it's, you know, there's some illustrations of flowers in here with the poems. And I just, I really liked that. So I had to get this one for sure. You can fussy cut those out or just leave them as whole pages. Do maybe a, a prayer journal or a gratitude journal. So yeah. Okay, so the next one is My Giant Storybook, 40 Children's Stories in Color, Famous Fairy Tales, Animal Stories, and Adventure Stories. And the cover just makes me very happy. I love this. I have, um, oops, it looks like I got a bonus um, gummy worm uh, bookmark. <laughs> That's always fun. Um, I have a custom order to do for a glue book, and I might, I might use this cover. We'll see. All right, so this one is copyright 1973, and it just has some really neat illustrations and stories and fairy tales and such. So I, yeah, just could not pass this up. Could not pass this up. Love it. Love it, love it. All righty. And then we have this. Um, let's see, let's do this one first. I'm gonna move everything over to the center here. This is a history of our country. And again, you know, the the cover, I know it looks really shabby and worn and it is, but I love it. Um, and I, I, I do, I, I truly, truly love that. So it's a history textbook actually. Um, and it is copyright 
1953. So it's just, and again, the pages are like really smooth, but you know, just, I don't know. It just feels nice, but there's pictures in here and then lots of text and such, but I, yeah, I can't say no to used books, especially when I think it cost me like a quarter or something. I don't know. Maybe it was no 50 cents. I think this one was 50 cents. <laughs> like I can't say no to that. So yeah, pretty cool. Very happy with that. All right. And then this one, I'm really not sure what this is, um, to be quite honest. I want to look at the cover. Oh, well, that's pretty. Okay. That's very pretty. Oh, and it's on the back too. Very cool. Okay. Anyway, I don't know what it is. Um, I think it is, it's like a companion to a novel of sorts, maybe, um, that was written in 1977. So I don't really know. I just really enjoyed the, the, the typeface and the, the pictures that were in here. So I, I have no idea what it actually is, um, but I just thought it was neat. So it looks like it describes maybe people and places that were in the novel. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I just like the paper and I liked the pictures and all of that. So that's why I got that one. And then, oh my gosh. Okay, so I... I want to cover it up for a second while I tell you the story. <laughs> so we get there and my husband and I split up as we always do at thrift stores and such places. And he, um, I was looking at a table of, I think it was the history books about history. And he comes back and he's like, he whispers in my ear, you have to come with me now. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> and I knew there must be something super exciting, but there was a stack of magazines um, and there were 68 of them. And I will tell you without any shame or regret that I bought all 68 <laughs> because they ended up being um, a quarter a piece. The oldest one is this one. It is from 1926 and basically they're all the same on the inside they appear to be well they are a monthly publication for collectors and amateurs of antiques so the insides are not particularly i mean they're cool and i will use them but they're not particularly exciting they're just ads for antiques and such um there are some articles and stuff but really, you know, I mean, cool, very cool. Don't get me wrong. But like my husband was like, it's kind of boring on the inside, but not, not to us junk journalers. We, we get excited about this kind of stuff, but I really bought them all for the covers. <laughs> this one isn't the prettiest, but I wanted to show it to you because it's the oldest. Um, but some of them are just stunning. And I, I'm not going to show you all 68, so don't panic. Um, but this one, the old, this is the, the newest date, I believe, is 1948. So 1926 to 1948 and everything in between. Um, but I just, I loved this, this floral here on the front of this one. And then, I mean, look at, look at this. Look how pretty that is. And then you have this one, also from 48. Just I couldn't pass them up. And this, I think, might be my favorite, but honestly, I'll probably say that again before we're even done with this video. <laughs> but this one's from 1940, but I love this cover um, with the pheasant, and it's just absolutely beautiful. And it was funny because once I saw the stack, I honestly, I didn't even, I didn't even look at all of them. I looked at the top couple, saw how gorgeous the covers were, and I told my husband, I'm staying here, go find a box. I'm not leaving this table until we have these in our possession. <laughs> and one of the, one of the volunteers that was working the sale came over and, and, uh, he was like, oh, aren't those neat? I'm like, yeah, I'm buying them all. <laughs> and he was, he, he actually didn't think I was weird. So, you know, but book lovers get it too, because something old like this is just cool. But the, the covers are just stunning. So here's a couple more. And then I'll, I'll let you be for the day. But this one's from 1929. Just this man fishing. 
And like I said, they're all pretty much the same on the inside. 1929. I mean, look at her. She's gorgeous. And then 1931. Just stunning. I Yeah, and even like the inside is just black and white, but I don't know. I will find something to do with it. But there are gorgeous pictures in here. I'm, so, yeah, this was the find of the day, um, if not the month or the year. Like, I was, I was really excited. So I have 68 copies. <laughs> None of them are duplicates. They are all individually different. Um, and, yeah, I just, just love this. Um, very exciting to find. And they're in fantastic shape for how old they are. I mean, that just, I mean, fantastic. Um, yeah. Anyway, I will stop blabbering on about my excitement. I just wanted to share this with you today um, and show you a little bit of what I found at my um, used book sale. And I hope you are having a fantastic Monday. And I will be back soon, probably with another process video on my garden journal that I'm making. That's it. Just, if you liked this, you can give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the little bell so you can get notified of new content. And um, I look forward to the next time. Have a great day. Bye.